Hello and welcome to our first tutorial on how to set up our portfolio for the MSCT program. What I have loaded here is my WordPress site and I have a WordPress theme called Magazine Basic loaded already. If you're not sure how to grab this theme, please jump out of this, go back to our coursework page and take a look at the hyperlinks showing you how to load different themes. Once again, this is the Magazine Basic theme. This portion here is our title for our site. This portion is what's called a tagline. And this portion is the primary navigation menu bar. I happen to know that just because I know the theme. And we will be manipulating that theme bar here in a moment. This particular theme defaults to having three columns here. This is the left column. This is the right column. And, excuse me, this is the content column and this is the right column over here. Now the four pieces that are required for your MSCT program is about me, coursework, educational philosophy, and teaching links. Now what we have going on here in the front part of this page, these are posts currently here. Posts are timely messages. They could be announcements. They could be quick little uh, thoughts or blurbs for the day. They could be assignments for your students. As opposed to a page, which in this particular case are linked across the top here. And as we take a look down the left hand side, these particular chunks of information are all parts of widgets. So the three things that I can see on this page immediately are I have posts here. I have pages linked across the top here, and I have widgets running down the left side. When you go to set up your MSCT page, you will need to default to your main coursework page, and you will need to have this set as static page for the front page of your site. So I'm going to jump into Manage Themes and take a look around at what we need to do. Very briefly, if I start here at the dashboard, one of the key elements in a WordPress site are posts. Again, let me jump back to the beginning. Excuse me. These are posts. Again, timely little messages. You will not be using those as much for your MSCT portfolio, but you may use them for other work that you do. In these particular posts, if you have content in here that you need to preserve, don't delete them. You can just certainly leave them. They won't be shown. The next chunk are the pages, and here are the four different pages that are required for the MSCT portfolio. Now to add a page, we would simply click on Add New. We would give it a page uh, title here. I'm going to do Coursework Sample. And then I would put my content in here, and to publish that page and make it readily available, I would just go ahead and click on Publish. Now that's all it takes to create a page, but before I even get into the actual creation of the portfolio page, I want to go under our appearance and theme options, and I want to talk for a moment about what you can do with Magazine Basic. Over here to the right hand side is a quick preview of what you might see. If I take a look here, these are my site title and tagline areas. I can change this. This is what, this content is what's driving this portion up here. I can choose to uh, not display it. I can choose to not display the tagline, etc. I can upload a particular logo image. I can determine whether I want my site information to be left, right, or center. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put that back to the left. I'm going to go ahead and click on Save and Publish just to update it. Now I'm going to the layout area and this particular theme offers the option to do one sidebar left, sidebar right, etc. You can read through these. One of the things I prefer to do is I prefer to have one sidebar right, although I don't necessarily have a, a preference. A lot of that depends on the content of your site, so choose what's most appropriate for your site. Now don't worry too much about the fact that this menu keeps popping around here. My screen's having a little bit of a problem refreshing. The next thing I want to do 
I'm going to go ahead and say that the main content width is going to jump to 75% because I want to force most of my content to take over my page. And then the next thing I would like to do is my site width. I'm going to jump out here super quick and just refresh to show you some of the changes here. Note that I've refreshed here and my content is laying now to the left hand side. I don't have anything in this right hand bar here, but that's okay. I'll show you how to do that momentarily. I still haven't set it so that the default is my coursework page that's coming up. But before I do that, I want you to notice that there's not a lot of room between the page and the background here. And I prefer to have a little bit more background showing. So I'm going to change my site width over to 960 pixels. Save and publish that. Come back over here and reload that. And now you can see that I've got a little bit more space. This really helps a lot if you don't have a lot of content on the same page. You want to kind of shrink up the, the content area so that it doesn't look as as empty. I'm going to come back here. That's all I'm going to fuss with on the layout here, but you can certainly change that if you want to. This front page option only applies if you're going to be using posts for your front page. We are not going to do that for the MSCT program, so we don't need to change anything here, but you could certainly do that if you wanted to on other sites. My colors, if I wanted to change the header color text, this piece up here, I could change that. I could change my background color, my page color, and my link color. A note on the background color. Currently, let me jump back over here, there's an image sitting in here. An image is override color. So therefore, even if I choose a color right now, I would now need to go onto the background image and remove that image in order to see the color. So I'm going to pop over here and once again, if I wanted to remove that image, I'd click on the background image and click on remove image. I'm not going to do that, but just know that that's an option. Navigation is something that's controlled from within this theme options area, but it's also controlled under the menu area, which is where I'd rather tackle it. So I'm going to leave that alone. And my last option here is I'm going to choose a static page. And the front page that I want to be static is the coursework page. And those are going to be the things that I want to change under theme options. I'm going to stop this video now and come back here in a moment and talk about the coursework page and how to set that.